Hi there, this is Vadim Mikhalenka, and in this video, I'll share with you how to pass an employment assessment test. In this video, I will share with you sample questions we see on the test. I will have some questions for you to try, and I'll show you tips, tricks, and hacks on how to get ready and pass the test. I will also share with you some additional test resources that might benefit you and might help you to get ready for the test quickly. In this video, we will focus on the charts and graphs question. We see a lot of different types of charts presented on the test. We see a lot of line chart questions, pie chart, bar chart, area chart, map chart, stock chart, and a lot of other types of questions we are planning to cover in this video. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. I have been helping people for more than 25 years to get hired and find jobs. I have founded how to analyze data.net website with only intent to help people get employment. This site helped a lot of people and I'm pretty sure it will help you as well. And now let's go ahead and jump right to the questions. Now let's look at the question which tests your knowledge of percentages and logical reasoning and frequently used as part of math reasoning, abstract reasoning, numerical reasoning and logical reasoning tests. If total budget for the state of Indiana is $31.4 billion, how much is planned to be spent on agriculture? And you have four choices, 12.24 billion, 7.3 billion, 6.32 billion, and 9.42 billion. And you have a chart which shows different percentages for different types of expenditures. Which one do you think is the right choice here? To get to the answer for this question, you need to understand what is the percentage of spent for agriculture. And based on the graph, the plan spent for agriculture is 30%. To calculate the budget for agriculture in actual US dollars, you need to multiply 31.4 by 0 0.3, which represents 30%. Whatever is correct answer based on this calculation would be the choice that you should select for this type of questions. Let's look and recap this question. Agriculture expenditures is 30% of the budget. To calculate total value for agriculture expenditures, you need to multiply 31.4 by 0 0.3, which is equivalent of $9.42 billion. So the correct choice here is answer D, which is $9.42 billion. I'm pretty sure you nailed this question, but in case you need more questions like this to practice, make sure to download my ebook with practice questions using the link in the description of this video. Can I ask you to do me a favor? If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up to tell us that you need more content like this. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Let's look at the question which tests your knowledge of charts and graphs, logical reasoning and math reasoning. During which period did the revenue for the company decline? And you have four periods, 2010 to 2012, 2011 to 2012, 2013 to 2014, and 2016 to 2018. And then you have a chart which represents revenues and costs. Which one do you think is the right answer here? Let's start by looking at the chart. Chart has two lines. One line is dark blue and another line is light blue. Dark blue line represents revenue and light blue line represents the cost. For the revenue, it almost always goes up with the exception of the period between 2013 to 2014 which is represented right here on the graph. Let's recap. Company's profit is represented on the graph. During 2013 and 2014 period, their revenue was decreasing and the costs were going up. So the correct choice here is answer C, which represents the period of 2013 to 2014. Hopefully your selection for this answer was correct. But in case you need to practice more with similar questions, make sure to download my ebook with more practice questions like this using the link in the description of this video. A lot of people ask, how can I help on this channel? One of the best ways to help is to help other people answer the questions that they're getting. If you know the answer to the question that you see in comments, please post the answer in the comment section of this video. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. And now here is the question for you to answer. Assuming companies are of the same market capitalization, which company is better to invest into in the long term based on their annual profits. You have four companies, Equatex, Antarix, 
Bantova or Alaria? Please post your answer in the comment section below this video so I can give you the grade. A lot of you are interested in asking me how can I help others? One of the ways you can help other people is by sharing the latest questions that you see on Excel interview and assessment test and how you answer them. Please share the questions you recently encountered in the comment section of this video. If you know the answers, please share them as well. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Let's look at the question which tests your knowledge of logical reasoning and how well you can apply this knowledge to charts and graphs. Review the graph in the picture and answer the question. During which period did the revenue of the company declines? There is a picture represented here with two lines, one blue line that shows revenue and then the orange line which shows the cost. The period is from 2013 to 2020 and you have four choices to select from. 2014 to 2015, 2019 to 2020, 2013 to 2014, and 2016 to 2017. Which one do you think is right? To answer this question correctly, you need to differentiate between revenue and the cost. Because revenue is represented by blue line, you have to follow the blue line to answer the question in which period revenue declines. If you follow the line, you see that for all the years, with the exception of period of 2014 to 2015, right here, the line goes up. And only for the period 2014 to 2015, revenue declines. So that is the correct choice and that is the correct answer. Now let's recap. The line graph shows the revenue and costs of a small company between the periods of 2014 and 2020. To estimate the changes, you need to find the spot on the line which goes down. Only place when line goes down is between the years of 2014 and 2015. Therefore, choice A, which shows 2014 to 2015, is the right answer for this question. Hopefully you've got this one right. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. All links to the downloads are available in the description of this video. Please make sure to consider ebooks and practice files, and also consider premium resources that help other people to get prepared faster. Now let's look at the question which frequently used as part of logical reasoning tests. It tests your knowledge of math, abstract reasoning, and numerical reasoning. The pie chart shows the colors of cars which passed underneath of the bridge during a one-hour period. A total of 510 cars passed under the bridge. The number of yellow cars is represented by an angle of 60 degrees on the graph. How many yellow cars passed under the bridge? You're presented with the graph which shows yellow segment, which we know is 60 degrees. And there are four choices, 75 cars, 65 cars, 95 cars, or 85 cars. What do you think is the correct answer here? To answer this question correctly, you need to understand the ratio between the entire circle, which has 360 degrees, and yellow portion of it, which represents the cars passed underneath of the bridge in one hour period. Because 60 is one six of 360, it means that one six of 510 cars passed under the bridge. We need to divide 510 by 6. 500 divided by 6 is 85. So the correct answer here is D, which is 85. Let's recap. We know that in the circle is the total of 360 degrees, and proportion of yellow cars can be expressed as one six of 360. When we divide 510 by 6, we get 85, and 85 is the number of yellow cars passed under the bridge during one hour period. I'm pretty sure you've got this one correctly. One of the things you can ask test provider is whether you can use the calculator during the test. Please make sure to ask them before the test. If calculator is allowed, please make sure to refresh your knowledge on all the functions so you don't struggle during the test. And now let's continue and get you ready for the interview and assessment test. Now let's review assessment test question, which tests your knowledge of charts and graphs. Which of the following options represent the largest price increase in a single month? You're presented with the graph, which contains three different lines. One for tulips, another one for orchids, and the third one is for roses. You have four choices. 
tulips from January to February. Choice B, tulip from March to April. Choice C, orchid from April to May. And choice D, roses from February to March. Which one do you think is the correct answer? To answer this question correctly, you need to look at the segments of this graph. Segment that goes from months to months represents either price increase or price decrease. The largest segment that represents one single month's largest price increase would be on the blue line from April to May. Blue line represents orchids. And let's go to the choice. So the right answer here is choice C, orchids from April to May. Based on the graph shown, there are different price increases here. Price of the tulip, for example, increased by about $5 from January to February, and another $5 from March to April. But orchid's price, which represented by blue line, increased from April to May by nearly $10, which represents the largest price increase. I'm pretty sure you nailed this question. This was rather easy, but you see a lot of these types of questions on assessment test. I'd like to ask you to participate in our daily Excel assessment test challenge. I post new questions every day in the community tab of this channel and give you an opportunity to answer this and try it. And I post the answer in the comments next day. So please make sure to check it out and test your knowledge. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Now let's look at the question which tests your knowledge of charts and graphs math reasoning and logical reasoning approximately what percentage of jewelry sales in october were bracelets and you presented with the graph which has four sections each section has two bars each bar represent monthly sales blue bar represent april sales for different types of jewelry and orange bar represents october sales for the same jewelry for example for bracelets april sales are approximately 125 items versus October sales are approximately 80 items. You have four choices to answer this question. Around 11%, choice B around 18%, around 25%, or around 40%. So how would you approach this question? Which one do you think is the right answer? To answer this question, you need to add up all jewelry sales for October and then understand what percentage of those were bracelets. For example, for earrings, the value is about 125. Same thing for necklaces. For rings, it's about 110. And for bracelets, it's about 80. Let's add up all these values in the calculator. The total number for October sales of jewelry is 440 items. Now we need to divide 80, which are the bracelet sales, by 440 and multiply by 100. The answer is about 18, which means that sales of bracelets are about 18% for October. Let's recap. Based on the bar graph, sales of bracelets are represented by the red bar. We do not have precise figures for the sales, so we need to approximate the numbers. Based on the graph, the approximate number of items sold in October are about 125 earrings, about 125 necklaces, and about 110 rings, plus about 80 bracelets, total of 440 items. To calculate the percentage of bracelets sold, we need to divide 80 by 440 and multiply by 100. The number of bracelets sold in October represented by about 18%. Hopefully you've got this one correctly, as this question involved a lot of calculations. Can I ask you to do me a favor? If you know someone who is getting ready for interview or Excel assessment test, please share this video with them. This is going to help them pass and get their dream job. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Let's look at the question, which is very frequently used as part of various aptitude tests. You could see it as part of math reasoning, abstract reasoning, numerical reasoning, and a lot of other tests. If the family spends a total of $60,000 in 2020, approximately how much of this was spent on food? You have a pie chart that you can see with the percentages of spending, and you have different spending categories. And there are four choices as usual, $7,800, $9,000, $10,200, or $12,600. Which one do you think is the right choice? 
To answer this question, you have to analyze the pie chart. And pie chart represents food as the gray color. And gray color has a 13% of the entire circle, which means that 30% out of $60,000 was spent on food in 2020. To calculate the actual amount, you need to multiply 0 0.13 by $60,000. And the answer is $7,800 was spent on food in 2020. Let's recap. The pie chart gives you the percentage of family's budget that was spent in six different categories. Notice that food takes 13% of the budget. Therefore, if you multiply 0 0.13 by 60,000, you will get $7,800. And that is choice A. Hopefully you've got this one right. Why you might consider subscribing to this channel? This is one of the fastest way to learn and get prepared for Excel assessment test. Skills you learn are helpful today and in the future. You get answers to your questions. You have opportunity to help other people. And you have experienced professionals who already subscribe to this channel and ready to help you with any answers that you need. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Let's look at the question, which is frequently used to test your knowledge of charts and graphs, and frequently used as part of math reasoning, logical reasoning, and also numerical reasoning tests. How much is spent on transportation if the total budget is $70,000? You have four choices as usual, $10,000, $11,200, $11,500, and $13,500. You also present it with the graph on which transportation is 16% of the entire budget. Which one do you think is the right choice here? To calculate the transportation budget, you need to get 16% off of $70,000. Ultimately, you need to multiply 70,000 by 0 0.16. So let's look at the answer. Because percentage of transportation is 16%, the correct answer is $11,200, which is calculated as 16 divided by 100, which gets you 0 0.16 multiplied by $70,000. So the correct choice is $11,200, which is choice B. Hopefully you've got this one right. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment test faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.